Yo, what's good, people? Giving it to y'all live on the move out here in the city right now. Holding up acting, casting auditions, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful scenery. See where I'm at. Just New York City at its finest, baby. Yo, Monique, we got love for you. Maddie's trying to say Monique, um, she lied about the um, 500,000, saying it was 3 million. I'm with Monique. She like, yo, if I lie, show receipts. She's showing receipts and emails, this and that. So if they ain't got no audio or no email, no type of receipts, then I'm with Monique on that, man. It's, it's real fucked up what's happening with Monique. A lot of people not riding with us beyond Netflix now because it's really about the women. That just, it's about the gender bias of the pay and this and this and that. So I'm with her on that. You know, stands tall for what you believe in. But we're going to get to the real fact of the matter. I'm reading a lot of comments and everybody's saying her husband is ruining her career. So I want to hear what the people got to say about that. Comment, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, hit it the like. Let me know what you think if her husband is ruining her career. I really don't believe so. I think her husband is, it's the time of the, um, it's a time of em employment, empowerment of your own and black empowerment, black excellence, black, black support, black, 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 black business and all this and that. And her husband is by him being a husband and taking a stand and working with her and actually being her business manager or whatever the case may be, he's watching over her and protecting her rights and making sure she eat right at the best of, and he, who else would do it better than her husband is what I'm trying to say. And of course it could be a conflict of interest, it could be problems sometimes, like a momager and all that wild shit, but I believe people don't want nobody fighting for you that, that's really going to get what you deserve. You know what they say, you never get what you deserve you get what you negotiate. So that's what I think they did. And plus it's 20%, it's management fees to eat off of that. So you know, the industry always want their pieces there. Like my man Timbo King said, you get 16 pieces in this game like chess. You either come in this game on the board with your own pieces or they're gonna give you 16 pieces. Huh? How many artists just to get a record deal running around with people they don't even know? I mean, of course you're gonna be around people you don't know, but people handling your money, you don't even know. People with access and power of authority over your bank account and your money. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I salute Monique for being brave and taking a stand. And oh yeah, against Oprah too. Everybody's scared to speak up against Oprah. It's like that in hip hop. I refuse to name names. But you can't speak bad about certain people. Hip hop is different though. I mean, not any, nothing's really different. And let me, let me rephrase all that. I'm gonna do this in a whole nother post because you gotta realize ain't nothing different from the streets. Anybody can get touched and anybody could push that button, you know what I'm saying? And Monique is real brave in doing what she's doing. So if you hear she slipped on a banana peel and she just happened to fall down the stairs or ate something poison, shit is real out here, man. Just know that shit is real, you know what I'm saying? And um, salute Jay-Z or all the hard work and the inspiration, fuck the Grammys, you know? And what I gotta say about the Grammys is stop supporting these whack people Stop putting these whack niggas on because they're afraid of the real. And they don't want the voice of the people to be heard. Then when the whack niggas start beating y'all at your own game, y'all looking crazy. So these niggas put all these whack niggas on, you know, all these bougie bourgeois niggas, all these flower pot niggas on, and then flower pot niggas start beating them at their own game, and niggas looking crazy. Why well, ain't winning? Why this? Why that? Come on, man. You know why? Because you put these niggas on a pedestal. You made everybody believe these niggas is artistic and all this crazy gay shit. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You know, no offense. Don't kill me. All this crazy bourgeois flower pot rap. You know what I'm saying? Lady, woman's dress shit, all that. Come on, man. Let's get to the real, man. Y'all got to put the real in the forefront and the real will win awards. Until you put the real in the forefront. And I ain't talking about myself. I ain't talking about everybody. Just real music. Real, real fucking art, t real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Let me go in here and handle this, man. I'm gonna be back with y'all, man. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm not editing nothing. I'm giving it to y'all raw. I'm just, I'm just flowing. It's like a freestyle with me. But yo, Jay, salute. Monique, salute. Shit, shit is real. Be careful out there.